There you get this very nice little bit of a laboratory. Some very nice pieces for possible mugs. Amber and eggs and little bottles and solar panels and leaves and computers and you can take one of your people in here and give them a little old seat in front of the computer and make it look like it's just doing some work. Maybe you're getting bothered by some dinosaurs. Hopefully you don't break anything. There you go. Today we're going to get set number 76280, Spider-Man vs. Sandman Final Battle. Here we have the front of the box where good old Sandman there is flying around. Lizard are coming through and Electro doing Electro stuff. Here we have the top of the box with good old Lizard there and some legal information. All very important. Here we have the bottom of the box with their lucky numbers and barcodes and Cycling reminders, more legal information. The other side of the box with our two logos where all the profits go. The other side of the box with a reminder of apps and warning about small parts and more Marvel. Here are the back of the box with same man getting a gripping old spider there and lizard still coming through and Electro's over there and Spider Man doing some Spider Man stuff. Some other things you can do with the set. So yeah, let's go put this set together. Here we have good old Peter. Looking pretty much the same as always. Well, at least the same as it was in its companion set, but... He still looks good. No, no Peter head or hair or anything. Just, just Spider Man. But you know, he still looks great. He does also come with, come with one of those little web shooter things and one of those big web ropes things. Yeah, that that's it. Here we have good old Kurt, looking lovely as always. Very nice printing on the chest and on the back and. Comes with one of those very nice tail pieces. Yeah, that's about it. There's, it doesn't come with anything else. Just his, you know, normal smiling face. Here we have Mr. Fox, looking pretty much the same as he did in the companion set to this set. Just well, slightly different electrical pieces. That's it. Just has a nice face print and hair, and everything else looks pretty good, but. You know, we've seen this guy before. Here we have good old Sandman, or, well, at least half of him. He's pretty much built the same way as most buildable figures are. Same kind of joint in the shoulder, and just that one slight elbow thing. Does have some fingers and a bit of a twist to his hand. He is quite, you know, asymmetrical. Does have a very big hand, and a much smaller hand, but you know, you can pose around the fingers if you so choose and do get this nice big one where you can take good old Pete here and stick him in the little stand and close one up. There you go. Captured. But you know, he has the same joints on this side. This has this nice headpiece with a nice printed face on there, but do get some stickers in here, here, and on the side, and does those, those nice abs. That's about it. Not much going on back here, but just, you know, you're not gonna look at it from that side too much, but other than that, he works, just, you know, no legs. He does also spin on the waist area. So yeah, that, that, that's it. Here we have the base in which you can stick old Sandman in there. But you know, you get another one of these little scaffoldings which does move around a bit. You do get some of these 
pieces to stick minifigures on or have them hold on. And a little scaffolding here. One of these big beams right here. Or places for minifigures to hold on. And one of Doctor Strange's portals, which you can. There's a little piece to stick minifigures on and have them do stuff. There's a bit of sand down here. Make it look like same ends everywhere. And it does utilize that same kind of rounded black base that they used for the previous kind of display sets. So yeah, that's, that's nice. Then you can take your good old Sandman half and you can stick him in there. Clicks on down, you might have to adjust some things and have things fall off. But there you go, that's better. And you can just good old Spider Man there. Then we're gonna put the rest of the figures on there in the Lego recommended positions. Good old lizard there and good old Electro just coming on in. Hopefully. There we go. This is how I guess Lego recommends you put things, but you know, you can do whatever you want because it's your set. But I'll probably leave it like this. It's probably the best suggestion they gave. So yeah, that's that's about it. It's not much to this set. Just, you know, the main thing is getting that getting that lizard. He's never gotten a lizard before. But you know, we've gotten this guy before and we've gotten this guy before and we gotta have a sandman now. All we need is legs. But yeah. It's probably worth getting. At least at least on sale. And the main draw is just good old lizard, so you know. If you want it, go get it. <laughs>